check in with WPTV's Katie Legrone, who is live in Spring Hill, a community that's about 50 miles north of Tampa. Katie, how are you doing tonight? That's right. Hey, we're doing okay. In fact, now the rain is becoming a lot more consistent. It's been a more consistent for about the last hour or so, uh, but nothing, you know, too crazy. We're certainly not getting pounded, and even the, the wind um, is pretty mild, relatively speaking. But as you mentioned, we're about an hour north of Tampa. We're about four miles inland from Hernando Beach. Really, the perspective here in, uh, in Spring Hill is... That's U.S. 19, and so it's the west side of U.S. 19. That's the risky area. That's the coastal area where Hernando Beach is. Those are low-lying low areas, and then the east side is kind of your safe zone. And so we were over at Hernando uh, Beach earlier today taking a look around. It's under a mandatory evacuation. It's been that way all morning, um, all day, rather. In fact, the road leading to Hernando Beach is now closed. It has been closed to the public. You have to be a resident and show paperwork. We are told about 80% of those mandatory evacuation zones, which again is that west side of US-19, 80% of people have heeded that, um, that advice to go ahead and leave to higher ground. In fact, the general manager here at the hotel that we're staying on the east side of US-19, she tells me that the hotel is fully booked um, and most of the people are locals who, are, who have left the west side of US-19 to go ahead and seek that higher ground. The big concern in this area, and we've heard this from crews across uh, the west coast of Florida today, is water, water, water. The county leaders here expect anywhere from six to nine feet of storm surge could make its way to the coastal part of this community, specifically that Hernando uh, Beach area. And so we're really watching for that. Um, they do have quite a few uh, emergency uh, you know, crews, obviously, uh, in different parts. The National Guard has also been deployed to the Hernando County area. In fact, several of those big water trucks are on standby, ready to, um, to deal with search and rescue efforts, which they say could happen um, as, you know, tomorrow. Uh, but the big concern, again, at this point is that storm surge and what it looks like come 3 a.m. this morning um, during high tide and then again tomorrow afternoon around that 2, 3 o'clock uh, mark in the afternoon. So that's what we'll be watching here, um, here in the Spring Hill area in Hernando County. Back to you guys.